Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Early exit poll from the UK election show Prime Minister David Cameron's Conservative Party is ahead with a clear lead over rival Labour. Expected results place the Conservatives 10 seats away from securing a majority in the 650-seat Parliament, nine seats more than the last election. Ed Miliband's Labour, however, is expected to decrease 19 seats to 239. This is despite pre-election polls putting them neck and neck with the Conservatives. Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula has announced its senior official Nasser bin Ali al-Ansi was killed in a US airstrike in Yemen. The US has confirmed the death but has not said whether his death was the result of a drone strike. Ansi became well known after releasing a statement in which he claimed that AQAP was responsible for the January shooting at Charlie Hebdo's Paris headquarters that left 12 dead. The US Senate passed a bill to give Congress the right to review, approve or reject an international nuclear agreement with Iran. The measure passed with a 98 to 1 majority. The White House has said President Barack Obama would sign it into law if it also passes in the House of Representatives. The House is expected to consider the bill as soon as next week. Iran and six world powers are trying to reach a nuclear agreement before June 30th. Chinese are... The US has begun to train Syrian opposition fighters to combat ISIS. The training, which has taken place in Jordan, began with a small group of 90 Syrians. Jordanian government sources have confirmed the training began several days ago. Earlier, the US announced it planned to train 15,000 opposition fighters over the course of three years. Thanks for watching.